the boat uh, can steer on its own and it's doing that by combining all this data that is coming from sensors so uh, lidar camera etc and then it's processing that in a pc in the middle so basically like the brain and it's using that as the intelligence to to map its surroundings and then to figure out where to go The boat actually uh, it's able to, to make images of its surroundings so if there's other boats in the area it will detect that and then will try to steer around so if someone is on another boat and it's steering that boat it will actually uh, correct for that it will take that into account and it will move around So the, uh, the technology that's currently being developed, the autonomous uh, solutions for shipping, is also very relevant in highly complex uh, port operations where you have a lot of vessels and a lot of ships and a lot of cays and, and piers. Uh, there you can really uh, improve the safety with autonomous systems but also uh, make it more efficient and uh, into a 24-7 operations uh, 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 approach. The boat uh, has a communication system, so you can imagine that it can actually talk to a central point that can coordinate all the boats and it can tell one boat to go in a certain place and another boat to go somewhere else. And the beauty of that is that, uh, for example, for logistics, you can have package delivery or people delivery um, handled automatically and one boat can tell the other, I'm going there, I will pick something up and then the other one will do something else. Uh, we need about two to four years to get this technology ready and that's mostly because we want to be absolutely sure that we can navigate safely in the canals and right now we have the autonomy in place but one of the next steps is to make sure that we can actually handle any kind of situation that we might might encounter in the canals We are actively working together with the uh, with the ministries and the uh, legislators to um, uh, identify what specific uh, legal uh, aspects have to be changed to allow for fully autonomous operation. You can now do semi-autonomous operations, but then you still have to have some remote controls. But uh, in the future, it will change because this is something that is happening in the whole maritime uh, industry.